सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक हेल्थ एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन द टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर थर्टीन सोशल हेल्थ पेज नंबर वन एटी फाइव थर्टीन पॉइंट वन इंट्रोडक्शन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड हेल्थ इन प्रीवियस चैप्टर्स बाय नाउ यू मस्ट हैव रियलाइज दैट हेल्थ डज नॉट ओनली मीन फ्रीडम फ्रॉम डिजीजेज it is much more health is the state of physical mental and social well being it should be viewed in a holistic way an individual may be physically and mentally healthy but if her or his social condition is problematic she or he cannot achieve holistic health in the present chapter we shall focus on various aspects of social health 13.2 what is social health let us first understand the meaning of social health we know that social health is one of the three major components of health the other two being physical and mental social health can be defined in two ways in one sense it refers to the health of a person with reference to his or her ability to interact with others it also refers to the health of a society in general it focuses on how the members of a society treat each other and behave with each other what kind of social environment prevails and how the prevailing customs and traditions guide the behavior of individuals towards self each other and towards the society as a whole also form social health social health also includes how individuals natural environment around them is the role of the community as a whole acquires great importance for enhancing and maintaining the quality of the health of individuals although there are many dimensions of social health we shall discuss below the impact of social customs on our health the need to protect natural resources and the empowerment of community for healthy living 13.3 impact of social customs customs and traditions prevalent in a society influence all aspects of the lives of individuals including their health and welfare what people eat how they eat how they live and care for their own health as well as the health of their near and dear ones are influenced by the prevailing customs and traditions let us first understand the meaning of the term custom Before that we have an activity for you activity number 13.1 make a list of customs having a positive and negative impact on the health of individual and society prevailing in your neighborhood share with your classmates their implications on health now moving on with the chapter 13.3.1 what is a custom customs generally refer to beliefs habits or actions performed in the past and transmitted through time from one generation to the next page number 186 these are derived from social norms which are rules or standards that guide control or regulate proper and acceptable behavior of a group these norms define the shared experiences of a group and enable people to anticipate how others will interpret and respond to their words and actions if there is a deviation from these norms for example there are customs and traditions related to marriage ceremonies these are observed by not only those who are getting married but also by the other members of the family and community many of the customs have positive impact on the relationships in a family and community however many of the customs have negative impact as well For example there are customs prevalent in many communities like early marriage or discriminating against female child or choice of spouse which adversely affect the health and well-being not only of the female child but of the society as a whole we have one more activity for you activity 13.2 Seema studies in class 9 in a small town she has two elder brothers both the brothers get a lot of attention from the parents 
parents believe that both their sons should get larger portion of milk, cheese and eggs. They tell Seema that her brothers need to be strong as they will grow up to head their families in future. On the other hand, parents tell Seema that she would eat less, otherwise she will look too grown up and big for her age. One day, while in class, Seema told her teacher that she was feeling dizzy. Before the teacher could do anything, she fainted. The teacher took her to a nearby hospital and then went home with her. The teacher told Seema's parents that the doctor had said that it was because of anemia that she had fainted and that it was very important to ensure that Seema gets good nutrition to remain healthy. Think Number 1 do you think the reasons given by Seema's parents for ensuring that their sons get good nutrition while neglecting Seema's nutritional needs are justified? Give reasons. Number 2. What are the customs related to diet for girls in your family and community? Now coming back to the chapter. 13.3.2 Customs and Health In every society, the individuals, families and communities observe many customs that have direct bearing on health. From the moment of birth of a child, customs begin to shape experiences and behavior of the child. In reality, by the time children can think independently, the health-related customs of the family have already become an intimate part of their personalities. They do not question these customs as they are deeply held and protected by the society. It becomes extremely difficult to change them. Let us understand this by considering what happened to Seema. The experiences of Seema shows the negative impact of social customs on health. Let us consider the influence of customs on the thinking and behavior of individuals in respect of early marriage, breastfeeding practices, family size, preference for male child and substance abuse. All these affect family and community health. Page number 187 Early Marriage Although efforts have been made since long to ensure that marriages take place at proper age, the problem of early marriage and even child marriage is still continuing in many communities in India. The Child Marriage Restraint Act 1978 stipulates legal age of marriage as 18 for girls and 21 for boys. But social customs encourage early marriage even now. You may have heard the word Kanyadan. Influenced by prevailing customs, many parents consider it good to marry their daughters even before they attain puberty. The tradition of dowry is another factor for early marriage in India. It is believed that dowry will be lower if the bride is younger in age. The early marriage custom puts pressure on young married women to prove their fertility, resulting in high rates of adolescent pregnancy. Adolescent pregnancy leads to greater health risks for the teenage mother and her child. Biologically, she is yet to attain reproductive maturity. There are chances of prolonged labor that can result in severe damage to the reproductive tract. The available evidence suggests that maternal deaths are considerably higher among adolescent mothers than among mature mothers. The babies born to adolescent mothers generally have low birth weight. Such babies are more likely to die at birth or in infancy. Early pregnancy increases the risk of maternal and child morbidity and mortality. Early pregnancy also has serious psychological, social and economic consequences. It continues to affect adversely the educational, economic and social status of women and is likely to have negative impact on the quality of life of the family. In many cases, young girls are married to older men. Such girls do not have the courage to take decisions related to family needs, lack power and are more likely to experience partner violence. Now we have a figure on the page. Figure 13.1 Child marriage is illegal. This poster has been designed by Shivani Sharma from class 10 
KPISP Nasik, Maharashtra. In this poster, we can see a married couple. The male seems to be tall and young, whereas the girl looks like a school-going student. She is holding a slate in her hand, on which we can see Hindi alphabets A, A, E, E. And at the back, there is a door which is open and inside the door, we can see a blackboard on which Hindi alphabets are written. This symbolizes that the girl is still studying in school, but has been married off by her parents. Now we have another activity for you. Activity 13.3 Read the case study given below and reflect on the question. I am Munni. I was born in a very poor family. I am 17 years old now and have two children of age 5 and 3. My parents never thought of educating me. They thought that education is not meant for girls and more so for poor people. Questions for Reflection Question number 1. Why was Munni married so early? Question number 2. How early marriage impacted Munni? Question number 3. If you were in Munni's place, what would you have done? Now coming back to the chapter. Page number 188. National Family Health Survey NFHS 3 2005-2006 reveals that 27% young women and 3% young men in the age group of 15 to 19 years were married. Breastfeeding We have seen above the adverse effects of social customs promoting early marriage in our society. But some customs do have positive impact. For example, consider the issue related to breastfeeding. We are aware that traditionally, mothers breastfeed their infants for a year or two and sometimes even longer. This has been an accepted norm. But nowadays, due to paucity of time and as a matter of convenience, some mothers do not breastfeed their infants. Lifestyle concern also comes in the way of breastfeeding. They choose to shift to powdered or bottled milk as a substitute for breast milk. Today, an increasing number of women are working outside their homes and bottle feeding seems to be considered a more convenient option for them. Those who choose to breastfeed are looked down upon. Breastfeeding in public is also not an acceptable option. However, there are two significant needs which make breastfeeding important, both for the mother as well as the child. One is nutritional while the other is psychological. While the nutritional benefit of breastfeeding is no doubt very important, the psychological bonding which develops between the child and the mother due to breastfeeding is unparalleled and has a positive impact on the health of both. Activity time. Now we have two activities for you. The first one is activity 13.4. Find answers to the following questions. In which of the Indian states do we find a large number of girls being married before they attain the legal age of marriage? Have you ever thought how early marriage affects both boys and girls, more particularly the girls? Describe why early marriages in large number continue ignoring the legal provision, how it affects the health of mother and child. Discuss with your classmates how to convince parents not to marry their children at an early age. Now the second activity, activity 13.5. Read the case study given below and answer the questions given at the end. Sangeeta was studying in class 9 when her marriage was fixed with a person twice her age. Although she wanted to study further, she was pulled out of school because she was the eldest in the family and there were three more sisters to be married off. Soon after marriage, her husband and in-laws started pressurizing her to become pregnant as they wanted an heir to their family. Sangeeta was unhappy, but she did not have a choice. Within three months of her marriage, she got pregnant. Despite not keeping well during the pregnancy, she was made to do most of the household work. In the fifth month of her pregnancy, she had a miscarriage, abortion. Rather than supporting her through this difficult experience, her in-laws blamed Sangeeta for not giving them an heir. Questions for Reflection 
क्वेश्चन नंबर वन हु ऑल आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर संगीता कंडीशन क्वेश्चन नंबर टू इफ यू व इन संगीता सिचुएशन वॉट वुड यू हैव डन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इफ संगीता वॉज अ बॉय वुड थिंग्स हैव बीन डिफरेंट इन वॉट वेज क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर वॉट वुड यू डू टू कन्विंस द पेरेंट्स टू अवॉइड एज रिलेटेड मिसमैच इन द मैरिज ऑफ बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स ऑफ योर लोकैलिटी पेज नंबर वन एटी नाइन देर आर मेनी रीजन्स वाई ब्रेस्ट मिल्क इज हेल्थियर ब्रेस्ट मिल्क कंटेन्स मोर दैन हंड्रेड न्यूट्रियंट्स दैट कैन नॉट बी प्रिपेयर इन द लेबोरेटरी दीज न्यूट्रियंट्स आर एसेंशियल फॉर द हेल्दी ग्रोथ एंड डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ द चाइल्ड इनफैक्ट द कैलोरिक डेंसिटी प्रोटीन कार्बोहाइड्रेट एंड फैट इन ब्रेस्ट मिल्क आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द ग्रोथ ऑफ द चाइल्ड ब्रेस्ट मिल्क इज फ्री फ्रॉम कंटेमिनेशन बाय बैक्टीरिया एंड इज ईजियर फॉर द इन्फेंट स्टमक टू डाइजेस्ट इन्फेंट्स हु आर ब्रेस्ट फेड फॉर एटलीस्ट एट मंथ्स हैव रिड्यूस्ड इंसिडेंस ऑफ मेनी डिजीजेज द फर्स्ट सिक्रेशन फ्रॉम द मदर्स ब्रेस्ट आफ्टर द बर्थ ऑफ द इन्फेंट इज नोन एज कलोस्ट्रम scientific studies have shown that it is extremely good for the newborn but in some communities the mother is asked not to feed this fluid to the child as they ignorantly think it to be impure such customs with a negative impact should be discouraged by creating awareness you are just listening to this audio book narrator neeraj yadav technical coordinator bati langlingdo sound recordist mayank kumar Assistance in production Ruchi Sharma directed and produced by Vimalesh Choudhury This audio book is presented to you by CIET and CERT New Delhi India